Hey guys, it's Numistaka and I'm back with you again. This video has probably four or so little videos, so there'll be something hopefully to uh, to make everybody happy within this video, uh, except for Crown Collector, of course, who is never happy with anything. Um, but let's move forward. Three 1963 sovereigns um, delivered to America from Pinehurst coins. Um, a few weeks ago, I think it was probably just uh, in the summer sometime, there was a special offer code on eBay, which was 10% off anything. And uh, it's always challenging to find ways of maximising the value of one of these eBay offers, a bit like Ebates for you guys over in the States. Um, so what I did was I bought three um, random bullion sovereigns and uh, they worked out after the offer of about £215 each compared to about 227 or so uh, cheapest way over in the UK. So saved a few pounds and it's always interesting to see what comes out. Absolutely delighted with all of these three sovereigns. These um, look like they're in beautiful condition. They're going to grade very well. Grading these coins, because they're in such nice condition, will add value to them. Uh, and they'll probably come back between 63 and 65 uh, from NGC. And quite possibly they'll have a value of anything up to £300 or so to sell graded. Um, maybe 285, but certainly I can see quite a good uplift on the uh, cost of the original coins. So, next package for your delight and delectation is something close to the hearts of most American coin collectors. And um, I've had a few on my channel, but this one is kind of interesting um, because it's from a particular mint, which is fairly elusive, quite expensive, um, shrouded in mystery and folklore of the Old West. And uh, you probably guessed already what mint it is. The mint is Carson City in Nevada. And uh, it's a place I'd like to go and see. Apparently the old mint is still there as a museum. But uh, it's a Morgan dollar. And it's the first year, 1878, that Morgan dollars were minted. And um, this is quite a valuable coin in any anyone's collection. I mean, 1878, CC, Carson City Morgan, looking to be in pretty nice condition. Uh, desirable coin. Not the most expensive coin in the world, not by far the cheapest. It's probably 10 times what the average cheap Morgan dollar might be in terms of cost. Uh, a lot of people really, really try and search out these CC Carson City Morgans. So uh, <clears throat> I think it looks pretty nice. I mean, you know, if you if you if you guys see any sign of cleaning, then let me know. It looked pretty good to me, but you know my eyes are still relatively untrained. Uh, I sometimes spot signs that are pretty obvious when a crowd of people takes a look. Let's um, learn a little bit more about the Morgan dollar. So 1878, Carson City, $1 coin, mintage 2.212 million and uh, 0.9 fine silver. One of the interesting things about this coin is that it is rare in the sense that there are fewer of these than some of the other Carson City coins, but it is by no means a rare coin. And this is one of the things I find strange about American coin collecting, that you can actually have a coin which, by our standards over here, would be as common as dirt. And yet in America, it's got relative rarity because some of the others are even more common. But there can be a lot of coins um, that exist um, for 
some of these coins and I think uh, they do seem to sell for very good prices. There's obviously a lot of people buying these coins, collecting them and very interested. But um, it always seems to me that they're, they're forever finding more hordes of these Morgan dollars and uh, it's probably a wise move not to spend too much money on any one coin in this particular range. So package number three, let's take a look at what's in this envelope. So from a very common rare coin we go to perhaps one of the tiniest coins in the world. Um, the Royal Mint started producing these 1 40th of an ounce Britannia coins. Um, this one's arrived for grading. Uh, it's the very very lovely 2014 Britannia design. Um, but they did produce a lot of these coins and they took a long while for them to sell out. Obviously all the larger coins, um, the large proof coins, sold out really quickly. These ones hung around for a little bit longer. Um, they produced thousands of these coins and I think, you know, ultimately I'm not totally convinced that a 1 40th of an ounce gold coin is really hugely interesting. But um, a lot of people collect these tiny coins, um, you know, maybe because they can't um, pay the money for some of the bigger gold coins. They want an example of a particular design. Maybe it makes sense to certain people. But if I had a preference, it would certainly be for one of the other larger coins from 2014. There you go, 9,650 limited edition presentation. It's a lot of little coins. Brings us on to the last unboxing, and uh, I think you'll probably like this one quite a lot more than the tiny 1 40th of an ounce coin. Uh, I've shown one of these before on my uh, channel, and uh, that was one I bought, and I actually sold it. I didn't grade it, I sold it um, on eBay because I wanted to free up the cash to buy something else. But this one's come in from one of the um, friends, Silver Forum members, and it is another one of these very, very rare sets um, of the larger 2014 Britannias. Um, a lot of Britannias don't hold their value particularly well. There's quite a few people who collect them, but they don't tend to go for very large premiums. The 2014 is actually the exception to the rule. 2014 is the best year by far to go for and it's um, widely acknowledged to be a great design and it is very very widely sought after and sells for a considerable premium over the Royal Mint price for these mint sets. So uh, you've got three coins in a premium set. You've got the half ounce, the quarter ounce and the one tenth of an ounce. The one tenth of an ounce is difficult to find coin because they weren't produced uh, on their own. After 2012 they stopped producing the one-tenth and in fact one quarter as well um, on their own. They later went back to producing the quarter but they still don't produce the one-tenth of an ounce on their own. I think uh, so people who collect these one-tenth coins uh, are having to break up sets in order to get the coins and get them graded. Very, very beautiful, very nice condition, lovely coin. This one is going to be graded. Uh, probably, uh, if you're interested in this set, let me know and I will make sure that the guy who owns it knows that you may be interested in a graded set at some stage. So uh, maybe I can persuade him to uh, break it up, actually, because um, I quite like to have the one-tenth of an ounce coin from this set myself for my uh, Britannia proof registry set over at NGC. Uh, I didn't get a chance to break out the one that I bought, but maybe this one uh, can be broken out. Uh, on the other hand, it seems fairly unlikely because I think the way of maximizing the value of this set is likely to be sell it to be to be selling it as a complete set. Um, and each of the coins turns out to be quite expensive. Uh, and so you know maybe it won't sell straight away really easily but uh, might hang around for a couple of weeks. On the other hand when I went to the market to sell my 2014 set it sold within a couple of days 
it was probably about uh, 12 1300 pounds to buy from the royal mint uh, I, I i asked 2300 pounds for the set and i accepted a best offer of 2000 pounds might have been able to get 21 maybe i did i can't remember i need to take a look at it so i hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, video with this assortment of arrivals hopefully something for everybody and uh, I look forward to reading comments and uh, seeing what you guys think. Um, and uh, let me know what's arriving for you. What are you buying? What kind of things? Have you discovered anything new that we should all know about?